Hi, welcome to the Compensation Plan Training Series for Jeunesse Global. Explain how the Jeunesse Rewards Plan works so that you can efficiently achieve your financial goals. Let's get started. As you probably know, network marketing relies on people connecting with each other to grow a network of customers for a product or service. As they grow, these networks are tracked by the company to determine which people in the network have earned commissions and how much they have earned. Jeunesse uses what's called a binary structure when calculating commissions. It's called a binary because each position in the organization has two legs or teams. For simplicity, these legs are commonly referred to as left and right. Everyone you contact who joins your business will be placed in one of these two legs. Once you have someone on each side and you go to enroll a third person, they must be placed under one of the previous two. This is one of the advantages of a binary. It encourages momentum and synergy within an organization because people end up helping each other build larger and larger networks. Now, don't worry. It may seem complicated, but in reality it's very simple. All you need to do in Janessa's plan is build two lines straight down. If you can do that, you can be successful with this plan. Let's talk about the specifics. The first thing you have to do in order to qualify for commissions is to personally enroll someone on each side of your organization who purchases products. Now pay attention because this part is very important. If you have someone placed on one side of your organization by your upline, you still have to enroll someone in that leg yourself. As we've said before, one of the strengths of the binary is that in many cases, upline sponsors will place people in your organization. But just because you have someone placed on one side of your tree doesn't mean you're qualified if you have placed someone on the other. You yourself need to enroll someone on each side. If your upline has placed one or more people in your group, then when you enroll your contact, they will simply go under those that are already there. This in no way is a disadvantage for your contact, but it is a very good reason to get your people in quickly so that they too can benefit from upline help. So how are the commissions calculated? In Jeunesse, the most basic unit of commissions is called a cycle. A single cycle equals $35 in commissions. A cycle is generated every time the right ratio of commissionable volume is achieved in the binary structure. That ratio is 300 points on one side of the organization and 600 points on the other. It works the other way too. Points are earned as products are purchased by people in the network. Anytime it's possible to satisfy the ratio, the computer will deduct that volume and credit you with one cycle. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say that there's an organization that has 500 points on one side and 1,000 points on the other. Obviously, it's possible to satisfy the 300-600 ratio with these volumes. What happens next is that the computer will subtract 300 points from the lesser side, 600 points from the greater side, and pay out one cycle. That leaves 200 points and 400 points, respectively, in the tree. As soon as 100 more points are accumulated in the left side of the tree and 200 more in the right, an additional cycle will occur. Another possible scenario is for 400 more points to accumulate in the left side, leaving the tree looking like this, with 600 on the left and 400 on the right. In this case, the computer would subtract 300 from the right side and 600 from the left, leaving the tree with 100 points on the right and zero on the left. Jeunesse Global's rewards plan allows for a maximum of 750 cycles to be paid out every week. That's $26,250 worth of commissions. Other elements of the compensation plan, such as matching bonuses and bonus pools, are not included in this amount. So there's really no limit to what you can make with Jeunesse. Thank you for watching. Matching bonuses are a powerful component of the Jeunesse Compensation Plan and in many cases can serve as an indicator of the overall success and health of an organization. Team commissions, or those calculated from the binary tree, are determined by volumes of products sold, but matching bonuses are calculated based on the actual amount of team commissions generated by an organization. Now if that sounds a little complicated, don't worry, it'll all be clear in a second. At this point, it's probably smart to clarify a couple of terms and make sure that everybody's on the same page. In Jeunesse, it's important to understand the distinction between sponsorship and placement. In the simplest terms, sponsorship is the credit for enrolling someone into an organization, 
and placement is where they are currently located in the organization. Here's an example. Let's say you enroll Ron, Ken, and Vanessa, and they end up placed in your organization like this. Now, even though they are placed one or more levels deep in your group, because you enrolled them, that puts them on the first generation of your enroller tree. More on generations in a minute. Let's look at the whole matching bonus structure and then give an example of how it works. Jeunesse pays matching bonuses on seven generations. The payout is 20%, 15%, 10%, and 5% on generations four through seven. There's even an option to increase your first generation up to 30% by acquiring preferred customers. In total, the Jeunesse Rewards Plan offers up to 75% matching bonuses. Okay, so what does this all mean? Let's look at another example. Let's say that Ken creates an income of $1,000 per week from the cycles that are generated by his team. Because the matching bonus on your first generation is 20%, the computer would add an additional $200 to your check. Now, let's also assume that Ken has enrolled three people who are each earning $100 a week from their individual groups. Since you enrolled Ken, he's on your first generation. So the people that Ken enrolls are on his first generation. That puts them on your second generation. If each of Ken's three personally enrolled people are earning $100 and they're on your second generation, you'll earn a bonus of 15% based on their earnings. So in this case, $15 each. Up to this point, you've earned $200 based on Ken's earnings and $45 based off of Ken's people's earnings. Ken, by the same mechanism, would have earned $20 from the earnings of each of his three people since they're on his first generation. This pattern continues through seven generations of your enroller tree. Now the great part about matching bonuses is that there's no limit to what can be earned through them. Where team commissions hit their cap at $26,250 per week, your matching bonus can always be increased simply by enrolling a new person and helping that person to become successful. One small but important note on matching bonuses is that they are only calculated on binary team commissions in your organization. In other words, you don't earn matching bonuses on your people's matching bonuses, only on their team commissions or cycles that their organizations generate. So, if we looked at our previous example, even though Ken's total check would have been 1060 you would only receive matching bonuses on $1,000 of that amount, since the 60 represents Ken's matching bonuses. Another way of thinking about this is that the computer calculates team commissions first, then goes back a second time and determines all the matching bonuses off that first independent commission run. In conclusion, matching bonuses represent a tremendously lucrative component of the Jeunesse opportunity. As you achieve higher and higher ranks with Jeunesse, you will gain access to deeper and deeper generations of matching bonuses. We'll cover rank advancements in our next video. As your organization matures and develops, you may find that matching bonuses represent a majority of your income. This is not uncommon amongst the top earners in Jeunesse. With the generous percentages and seven generations of depth, it's easy to see why this can be the case. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about matching bonuses. Advancing through the ranks in a networking opportunity is one of the most rewarding parts of the experience, but unless understood, it can also be one of the most daunting. Jeunesse features a simple to understand compensation plan with logical rank advancement milestones and clear cut objectives. The ranks are earned by successfully referring people to the Jeunesse opportunity and helping those people do the same. The Jeunesse ranks determine what amount of matching bonuses you are qualified to receive. Though it is important to understand the qualifications for all the ranks, in this video we're only going to focus on the first four ranks and the benefits associated with them. First, some terminology. A distributor is someone who enrolls in the opportunity with the $29 starter kit and accumulates at least 100 points in personal volume during a calendar month. So basically someone who signs up and orders a basic pack or more. Let's start with executive. To become an executive with Jeunesse, all you have to do is enroll one distributor on your left side and one on your right side. That's it. You're an executive. As an executive, you have access to the entire team commission structure, which means that you can earn up to $26,250 per week just from the first position in the plan. The next rank is that of Jade. 
There are two ways to become a Jade, both of which are based on personal enrollment. The first is to personally enroll four executives. The second is to personally enroll eight distributors. As a Jade, you're entitled to receive all the team commissions in addition to a first generation of matching bonuses at 20%. Following Jade is the rank of Pearl. Like Jade, there are two ways to become a Pearl, and also similar to Jade, those requirements are enrollment based. The first way to become a Pearl is by personally enrolling eight executives, and the second is by enrolling 12 distributors. Becoming Pearl qualifies you for a second generation of matching bonuses at 15%. The next rank is Sapphire. To become a Sapphire, you must have personally enrolled 12 executives. The reward for this is a third generation of matching bonuses at 10%. Now the Ruby, Emerald, and the Diamond ranks do have some volume-based requirements, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. One mistake that many people make when looking at an opportunity is that they focus on the highest ranks first, and as a result can get discouraged when it seems like they're very far away. That having been said, let's go back and look at what can be accomplished within just the first four ranks of the Jeunesse Compensation Plan. Let's say you become an executive, and the following month each of your two people get two distributors to become executives themselves, and then each new person in the group becomes an executive the month after they came in. At the end of just one year, you'd have an organization with over 8,100 people that would be generating $14,315 a month. Let's look at Jade. If you brought in your four people and structured them so that three were on one side and one was on the other, and the exact same pattern of each new person getting two was successfully carried out, at the end of 12 months you'd have an organization of over 20,000 people earning a team commission check of $28,630 per month and matching bonuses of $10,020 for a total of $38,650 per month. What happens at Pearl? If you put two on one side and six on the other, and the same pattern repeated, your organization would consist of over 32,000 people, and you'd earn a team commission check of $57,300, with matching bonuses of over $37,500 monthly. That's a total of over $94,800. Let's look at Sapphire. Here's where things get a little crazy. Your organization would have over 98,000 people. You'd be easily hitting the maximum team commissions of 26,250 a week. And then when you add in matching bonuses of over $72,900, you've got an income of over $177,900 per month. Remember, these scenarios are only if each new person gets two people, everyone orders a minimum auto ship of 60 points, and nothing more. There are going to be many people who get three or four or even more. Obviously, there will be some people who don't get any. But at each of these levels, ask yourself, what would happen if only 10% of the activity outlined in the scenario actually took place? You'd still be doing pretty well. This is the power of the Jeunesse Compensation Plan. It gives people the ability to change their situations and circumstances. And it also gives a clear path to make progress towards achieving these objectives. Thank you for taking the time to understand the importance of rank advancement in Jeunesse.